Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're gonna talk about the newest Windows 11 Insider Preview build. Today, we have the new Windows Insider Preview build, which is 22K.132. In this new build, we have a few changes to the operating system. And of course, as Microsoft always does, we have some fixes to known issues. From the beginning, I must tell you that this is not a very big update. Compared to the other ones, this is a smaller update. Before starting the video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the TechBase channel because you'll be notified when we post another new Windows 11 Insider preview build video. Let's begin with the video. First of all, the chat for Microsoft Teams is now available for Windows Insiders in the beta channel. So if you're in the beta channel, you will now start to see this chat for Microsoft Teams. Another big update or big announcement in this new build is that Microsoft announces the new snipping tool for Windows 11, an updated calculator app and an updated mail and calendar app that will roll out in the following days or weeks to Windows Insider in the dev channel. So we still don't have them yet, but on the screen I'm going to show you a few screenshots from the Microsoft blog of how the snipping tool looks, how the calculator app looks, and also how the mail and calendar app looks. So basically in Windows 11, both the classic snipping tool and snip and sketch apps will be replaced by a new snipping tool app that will somehow combine those two apps together. Basically in this new snipping tool app, we will have the keyboard combination Win plus Shift plus S that it's from the snipping sketch app. And we also have options to choose from including regular snip, freeform snip, windows snip and full screen snip. And of course you have that classic section where you can edit and you can improve the cropping and of course add elements to your screenshot. A very nice thing is that snipping tool will have a dark mode if you use the dark mode on Windows 11 and the dark mode looks really really good if you ask me. The calculator app as Microsoft says has been rewritten in C sharp so that people can now contribute to it on GitHub. Of course links you're gonna have in the description down below and you can see the GitHub section and as you can see from the screenshots the whole design has been reworked. We have have the dark mode which is really nice and a lot of options that we can choose from of course I'm gonna make a different video when these apps will launch on my computer and I will be able to test them out and also the mail and calendar have a new visual style they have of course the rounded corners and other adjustments and yet again the calendar app and the mail app can reflect the theme you're using or the mode you're using if you're using the dark mode you will have a dark mode for these apps and we don't have any other big updates as I've said this is a small update, a smaller Insider Preview build launched by Microsoft. But we have a few fixes that you can find, of course, in the blog post that you'll have the link to in the description down below. First of all, they did some work to address a scenario where the recent searches list displayed when hovering over the search icon in the taskbar was unexpectedly blank. They fixed some things with the widgets. We have a fix for Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox is a VM inside Windows 11. The taskbar, the explorer.exe, should no longer repeatedly crash inside of Windows Sandbox. This is a good thing. Personally, I didn't encounter it, but if someone encountered it, that's good to know that it's fixed. And we have some other fixes addressed an issue leading to some insiders experiencing a bug check when att attempting to roll back in the previous flight, mitigated an issue that was making certain games go unresponsive after pressing the enter key, fixed an issue where the location use indicator icon wasn't showing up in the taskbar when it should have been. So basically, this is it with this new update. As I've said, we don't have many things, many new things. The announcement of the new apps is gonna be a great addition to Windows 11. As you saw in those screenshots, we have dark modes for those apps and that will be very, very nice. And of course, known issues, you can see all of these in the blog post that you'll find the link to in the description down below. Please let me know what you think about the new apps in Windows 11 in the comment section. And also don't forget to leave a like to this video and subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.